Okay, we're we're recording now, Ray. What I'll do is I'm All just right. gonna I'll quickly review what I was sharing with you, and then we'll continue. Okay, just so that you have the original, the original. Um, all right. So what I what I was no problem, no problem. I was thinking about recording it, but then I was like, ah, oh, should I or should I not? Okay. All right. So here, let, let's let's do this here. Um, so I, I I brought out that I liked this uh, comparison that you gave us here. And so my question for the comparison is what is it being compared to? And what it's being compared to is the, the servant's command to be in submission to their masters. And, um, and the, the example that's given is Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ's example. Verse 21, Christ suffered for you, leaving an example. He committed no sin, neither was there found deceit in his mouth. And then he kept entrusting himself to the one who judges. And so that's the relationship. And I mentioned that Christ's example is, is an excellent foundation for what is to follow. And what is to follow is, is this command. Uh, submit yourselves to your own husbands. So that's a command. So this here is a command. You, you've identified it as an action, which is, which is mostly correct. We, we're just modifying it because a command is not realized yet there's a potentiality so there's a command to, to, to follow this you've also mentioned that the actors are wives and then we've just discussed that the 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 relationship of verse uh verse three uh verse one verse one b and verse two is this relationship of result or purpose what is the benefit of us of of, of wives submitting of course there's obedient you're obeying the lord but there's also the purpose or the result that your, your, your husbands, if they don't believe can be won over without words. So you can talk about the result. You know, why should you do this? Of course, it's to obey, to, to obey the Lord, but there's also that result that you're also trying to be, your life is trying to be a testimony to your husbands. Okay. When they see your uh, reverence and purity. Okay. Now let me just let me just see your relationships here. Yes, I like I like this here, Ray. I like this manner, this manner relationship here. I like that. That's good. I don't know if I would use uh, object, but let's let's do means. The means by which you're going to win them over is is your behavior. Okay. Yeah, there's more. Yeah, and, and, the, and the key word is this by. The key word is this by here. Yeah. Okay. All right. And, and I understand what you're saying here with the actor, the actors being connected back to the wives. The technical connection here, though, would be um, like identification whose behavior, the wives' behavior. So I understand that you're connecting actor and actor. So as long as we just understand that it's, and this is self explanatory, but it's, it's the, it's the, it's the behavior of the, of the wife, mm. uh, the identification. It's, it's whose behavior. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not correcting that. I'm just offering a, a clarification. Uh, I just type of this, hang on, hang on, hold up. Let me get this identification. I then to vacation. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so that makes sense, right? That makes sense. Um, verse two: When they see the purity and reverence in your lives, so um, yeah. So the 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 actor is they, which would be husbands. Action. That's good. And then here you have description when they see uh, the question I want to ask is what, what are they seeing? Does that make sense? Right. What, what do they see? And then we would yeah, say yeah. this, if, if, if you're looking at what the way I see it, it's, it's a reference to the behavior. So that would be the purity and reverence. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 No, that's good. That's good. Yeah. So, what here? So, so again, I'm not, I'm not correcting. I'm just uh, um, maybe just supplementing, including. So, what, what you could the, technically, it's the object, 
It's the object, the object of what's being seen. What are they seeing? Purity and reverence. Yeah. Okay. But you were saying it's the, it's the type of behavior, right? The type of behavior. Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, 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 yeah. and I, and, and I, and I agree with that a hundred percent. Type that would be that would be object. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But and then you can say that like what type of behavior are because then you can talk about Ray. You can talk about how submitting is more than just physically obeying, but also there's 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 a reverence and purity in that obedience. So it's also describing the type of behavior or. Uh, the type of obedience, submission. But I think you're spot on here. So, so for example, Ray, just, uh, and, and this would be a time, this would be a time, this would be a time, right? Just, uh, did you have time there? I don't know if you have time, but just this, this, is, a, this is a time reference here. A time, right. okay, yeah. So you could have, if I'm looking at an outline, Ray, this could be your first major point. Point number one. Yeah. And this could be A. Or no, I'm sorry. Uh, the, the uh, just bear with me one second here. Uh, a is the command. So you're going to have, a, you're going to have, a, let me just come back here. You're going to have a catchy main idea here, okay? Then A can be the command, okay? B can be maybe the basis. Or you could put A as the basis and then B as the command. And then C is the result or purpose. And then this could be a D or within that. So you see how I'm making those connections here for an outline. Is, are you tracking mm -hmm. with me there? Yeah, but I think you're already, and that's just one idea. You could you could change it. You could, uh, yeah. You, there's a lot of different modifications. I'm just giving you a, a possibility. But I think I think, and you could even talk. You know, Ray, you could even talk about the gospel here. I would I would talk about the gospel here. That only only someone who is in Christ can truly submit, and 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 really bring out bring out the need if you're going to obey this command you yeah. you need to you need to repent and believe alone in jesus christ because it's only through the spirit that you're going to be able to do this so i would bring i would you could even talk about the gospel and you have you have in here a description of the gospel okay yeah all right any any comments or thoughts or, or I don't want to be cutting you off if you want to say something or that's okay. Yeah. That would be more meaningful to say it that way because definitely uh, women would not be at this at, at our time, women would not really be that you know, um how would say that amicable with the idea of submitting unless otherwise they truly understand what it means to submit. Yeah. Because in this context, uh, the time it's always acceptable to for women to do it. Yeah. But in our yeah. case, to to submit with with a with a contemporary meaning, it's kind of hard for them to do. So probably the the, the, the gospel message would really fit into this. Yeah. Now, now I do. Let's come back and talk about some caveats or some clarifications. Because I, whatever was going on in the first century, we, we don't really know the details. The servants, it talks about the servants being submissive, not just to the, to the gentle and kind masters, but also the, the, the mean ones. Okay, so um, uh, we don't know the specific details in the first century as far as it, it is, um, um, what the precise relationship is here is is it simple is, is there verbal abuse we don't know those things so let's come back and talk about qualifications and clarifications because because there are specific laws against abuse in the philippines and in the u.s there's laws against 
um, adultery and sexual immorality, both both in both in um, the U.S. and the Philippines, and and with the law of God. So so we want to you do want to qualify this submission that, and we'll talk about this later about 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 being in an abusive situation. This is we're not telling you to remain in an abusive situation. I, I do think we need to have that clarification there because there are people that are being abused, and I don't. Peter is not saying deal with the abuse. He's not saying that. This is maybe someone who's harsh. So let's let's come back and talk about that later because I do think you need to have a a, a period either at the beginning or at the end, maybe at the end that you you or 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 throughout where you're clarifying and saying, listen, I'm not telling you to submit in an abusive relationship. If the, if your husband is breaking the law in abusing you, you need to leave and you need to report him. You need to report him to police. So let's go back and talk about that later because um, we don't want to be given the wrong impression because that's what, like what you're saying, it has to be done in the gospel, but that, that could be what's going on in the mind of the, uh, of the audience. Uh, good. Okay, verse three, verse three. Uh, your beauty should not come from outward adornment, such as elaborate hairstyle and the wearing of gold jewelry or fine clothes. Rather, it should be that your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, is, is of great worth in God's sight. So then here, verse 3, you have a prohibition, which is good. So I, I like that. So here's a prohibition here. So I like, I like what you're identifying here. That, that's, that's good. Um, your beauty should not come from. Let me let me just see what it is in the ESV. Do not let your adorning be external. Okay. Yeah. So I like what you're saying here as far as the object here. Don't let your your beauty be external. So this is good, Ray. This is good here. I like this. I like this. I like this description. Really, it's a description. I like that. So where, where would it fall? Would it still be a command? Yeah. So a, 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 a pro. Yeah. So a prohibition is just a negative command. So, okay. so, ah, okay. so yeah. So a prohibition. You could you could put command. I mean, if if it's if it's difficult for, and, and, and I and I get that. This is just a a command negative. So you could just say command. That might be even easier. So. Yeah, so you can do prohibition command. It's, it's, it's the same. It's a negative command. Um, and, then, and then here you have, you have this prohibition. And then you can have here, you can have here description, which is what you already have. Again, I'm just trying to form, uh, I'm just trying to, you can kind of see the outline forming on the left. That's why I'm doing that. <laughs> um, but no, this is good. Okay. And then here you have, you have this action here, but it should be, it's actually, it's actually a, uh, let me come back here. And th this is where, Ray, this is where Step Bible really becomes beneficial. I'm not using Step Bible. I probably should be. But here, do not let your adorning be external, verse four, but let your adorning be hidden. So when I, when I click on this word, here we go. So it's let, it's to be. So if you can see up here, can you see the top of the screen? You see how it says imperative up there? Single, present, imperative. Do you see that? So it's a command, okay? So, and you would see that in Step Bible. You would see that in Step Bible, okay? So when I come back here, this here, it, you're correct, it's an action, but it's also, it's also a, a command. This is a command, yep. So, command, and this would be positive, right? So rather, it should be the, in, the, in, the inner self object, inner self, and, mm. and then description. So what you have here, which is of great worth to God. So, I mean, you really see the, uh, you really see the parallel, right? right yes yeah i see it yeah and then and then and then this you can have some 
this is your 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 second point this could be a b right um and and it talk it's talking about the internal what matters to god what matters to us is is internal and and ray remember how we talked about in, in the, the, the hypocrites everything's external nothing's internal and so the internal is of great worth to God. The inter internal is of great worth to God. And then notice this. So you have referential here. Did, did you look up this? This uh, conjunction? Oh, uh, yeah, the conjunction. Did you look up what? <coughs> you have refer referential. Uh, oh, is that what do you have that reference? Reference. Yeah. It could be that I'm thinking, I'm just thinking, I'm looking at the conjunction. I'm not looking at the whole the thing, but I'm thinking it's like, it's an explanatory conjunction explaining. But I see what you're saying, reference because of the holy women of the past. So, um, yeah, so just think about that. It could be either one, but think about it's explaining. It's going to explain or offer an explanation. Let, let me, let me, let me come back here and look. Let me yeah, look at this. Because the way I see it is way after this, this phrase is looking into the life of Sarah. Yes. So I was thinking of that way. But anyway, it's yeah. a good no. it's a good point to do. To have. Yeah. So so when you but, but see okay so no so this is good so if you look here though you have if you notice here um if you notice here you have adorning Ray you have mm, yeah you have yeah. you have both right you have uh. Number two, and then number one point, right? Mm. So it's almost like coming back and saying, you need to, this is how the Old Testament saints carried themselves as mature, holy women. They had proper, they, they adorned themselves properly, they clothed themselves properly, and they submitted their husbands. Okay, and of course, in Christ, all right? Mm. So, so, so you can have, Point three, I would go with the point three in this situation. OT example uh, for adorning and submitting. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I, I think I think you're tracking there, and and your your functions here are spot on. You know, and and, and come back to focusing on who put their hope in God. These are women who put their hope in God. And, and you can talk about faith. That, that's what this is. That's faith. You can talk about that. Okay. All right. Now, let me just go to one passage to, 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 to caveat this. Let me just check Ephesians. Ephesians, um, Ephesians 5.22. Okay, so I would just add, I would, I would as a, I would add as a caveat here, and I would quote Ephesians five twenty two, wives submit to, to your own husbands as to the Lord. Okay, um, uh, for the for the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head. So it's it's the Lord only commands. There are, so, so for example, if the husband asks you to do something that's against God's commands, against the law, you don't submit to them. It's in the context of the Lord. Let me see if there's a stronger passage here. Okay, so, so here, look at verse, verse, verse 21. Uh, so verse 20, give thanks always for everything to God the Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, submitting to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives, submit to your husbands, okay? So it's in the context of reverence for christ okay so mm -hmm. so even peter's commands needs to be caveated with you are to submit to your husband in the context of the sphere the realm of christ so the husband is breaking the law the husband's abusing you the husband's asking you to break the law the husband's asking you to disobey god those are all like don't submit and i and i do think maybe at the end you can give a qualification or you can say you know I want you to listen to the passage, listen to what the passage is saying first. We're going to offer some qualifications at the end. 
you know, I don't want you to shut your heart or your mind off to what's being said. And, and then talk about these things because, because it is so important. It, it doesn't give the, license, the husbands a license to do whatever. Um, and neither should someone, wives, there are wives in Tafloban in the U.S. that are being abused by their husbands and they need to leave. And you can even say that. If you're in an abusive situation, this is not telling you to remain. This, is, this, this would be a situation where the husband's unbelieving. Maybe he's not having family devotions. Maybe he's not praying. Maybe he's not respecting God. Maybe he's not, maybe he's sometimes harsh, but there, there, it's not an abusive situation where you're being abused physically, you're being sexually abused, children are being abused. It's not like that. It's just a harsh person, a person that's difficult to be around, if that makes sense. There is a difference, okay? And you can talk through that. I would have some ideas and some things, some examples, you know, maybe your husband's rude or maybe he's using profanity. That's not a context. Now, unless it's, it's a constant verbal abuse where it is me it's messing with you or it's, it, you know, th then you have to. But I'm just giving examples. Makes sense. Okay, cool. All right, let's go on here. Um, uh, back here. Okay, yeah, so this is, so you could talk about, this could be A. So, so this can be A here. Just generally right and then you could have b specifically looking at sarah okay or you could just make it one all right and then and actually what you could do is you could have ray you know what you could also do you could also push everything over and just have two major points for husband or for wives and husbands okay and then just move everything across so instead of this being Roman numeral two, it could be A, B, and C, and then this could be within that one, two, three, okay? And then you just have two big points because you have husbands and wives, okay? So that's a possibility too. All right, so then now you're going, so let's just imagine, now you're gonna deal with husbands. So, um, so this is again, this would, be, this would be a command here. As you live with your wives, what about this? What kind of action is that? That would be a command. Yes, good. So, so you have another command here. So this is one. This is two. Respect. I would really go into detail here because a lot of husbands don't respect their wives. And you can go to Ephesians. I would, I would parallel Ephesians. What does it mean you respect your wife? It means love your wife as Christ loved the church. Think about this, okay, as the weaker partner and as heirs, okay? In the, old in, the, in, the, in the first century, right, the husband was the heir, not the wife. <laughs> but now they're, we're co-heirs with, with, with our wives. <laughs> so really, it's not, you're not inheriting, you're inheriting with, with your wife, okay? So you, you, you need to, you need to metaphorically smack around the husbands that are very arrogant, that are very controlling. I would, even though there's a lot more, a lot more talking with the wife, uh, explanation with the wife, I would spend a lot of time, I would spend a lot of time on, on, on this, on this, a lot of examples. I would think of examples. So this is, this is, so we talk about like uh, heavy application here. Okay, Ray, heavy application with husbands. Husbands need to be smacked around. Metaphorically speaking, not 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 not, not physically, yeah, yeah. but 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 husbands are husbands are harsh. Husbands are harsh. Husbands are um, are are very difficult to live with. And I'm speaking as a guilty party, as a as a guilty husband for being harsh, for for being. We're all we all can be harsh, and so. Um, <laughs> they um, all are real good. Yeah. Now I do want to look at weaker vessel. Some people uh, they understand weaker weaker vessel in different ways. Not that they're physically weaker, but they're in a position of weakness compared to the husband in the complementarian role. I I haven't really studied that in a long time, so I don't want to make a, a definitive comment which way you would go. But I, I definitely want to. I, I think you should explore. Uh, what does this mean?
from what I've from what way I've studied team, it's just a reference of the natural weakness on the physicals. Yeah. Okay, good. And and yeah, and that's and 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 that could be the case. I, I know my father had a different interpretation. Um, and so yeah, I, it, a physical weakness. Um, it, there is there is a physical weakness comparison between a man and a woman. That that's 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 nature. Uh, so and then again here, just here, just result or purpose. So I'm not again. I'm not, uh, so it's a warning. So this is a this is a warning here. Okay, and it's to the husbands, right? Because because the husband yes. is the head of the house. So tell them if you're not if you're not obeying this, abide by this. You know your your prayers could be hindered to God because you're asking for God to help you, and then you're not taking care of your wife. So you know what God says: until you take care of your wife, I don't want to see your face, and I'm just going to ignore you. And that maybe that's strong, but 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 I do I do think that we are we as men can be so arrogant, we can we can mistreat those underneath us. Because we know, we know the way, we know what's right. And God does not tolerate bullying in the house, right? That's not to say that we shouldn't stand for truth, that we shouldn't admonish or correct. That doesn't mean we shouldn't admonish or correct our children. Um, but but we, are, we are not sensitive. And, and, I, and so I, I do think that this is a time to really call a lot of men to the carpet. Call a lot of men to the carpet. And also, you can talk about here that um, uh, ask them about their prayer life. Are you praying as a family? I would really go after. I really go after husbands here because there is there's a lot there's a lot of application. So you know, you talk about theology. You talk about this is a heavy application passage. Um, there's theology. There's there's the example of Christ. There's the gospel. Um, but really, really go after people to make everyone uncomfortable, especially the men. Mm. Okay. You want me to make them kneel down? <laughs> no, just kidding. well, no, no. But I want. I want them yeah, they sh they should be more sensitive. Now, now, some men do a great job, but 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 there are some men that are very harsh to those around them. They're harsh to their to their family, to their children, to their wives, and they need to be called out. You know. And you, you could also talk about too. So here, talk about the harshness, but then also talk about, because there's another part, there's another component here, right? There's the, there's the, there's the passive men, right? The passive men that don't lead. Correct? Yeah. Yeah. So I would include both. I would talk about <laughs> yours. What was that? Passive. They don't do nothing. They just make their wife work for them. Exactly. So that's what I'm saying. So you have so you have so much content. You have so much content to work with. And I would talk about both passive. So you can talk about passive and aggressive. You could even use those words. I like those words. And also here, uh, this gracious gift. I like this as well. Okay. You're both heirs of a gracious gift. So again, it's not, it's not as if the, the husband has it all there and he's the big cheese. You, you, you've both been given a gift. <laughs> You're in the same place of, of uh, there's Utah for the Lord. It doesn't make the husband, yeah. it doesn't make the husband you know, in any way more favorable to Yes, exactly, exactly, and, and I and I would again go back to here that for for them both to be a weaker partner and co-heir, you are partners with your wife. You're equal. You're equal in value. Or you're equal in worth, and you're equal in heirs. You don't get any special treatment, okay? And so you need to be treating your wife as an equal heir, not as not as your servant. And the wives are supposed to be trusting and, and submitting to their husbands. So there's that, there's that different, different function, but same value. Okay. You see that. So I would, there's, there's, I mean, there's so much to go off of here. So um, is that making sense? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. <laughs>
I really like, I mean, did, did you feel that doing these categories, you felt mu much better with understanding the, co the, the, the context? Did, did, that, did you feel like the categories helped you? Yeah, it, it did help a lot in understanding uh, the way relationship works you know, as yeah. far as your function, your role, yeah. Yeah. things yeah. like that. But some, some men would really uh, misconstrue this message and end up being like a tyrant in their house. Yes. And it's your job, Ray. It's your job to put them in check, to put them in check, because you're right. They, they can twist this to be like, you're going to do, and, and they completely ignore what, so this is, this is, this is the, for me, looking at this passage, I would say it's actually, what's implied here is actually stronger for the men than for the women. That's how I see this. Um, you know, so uh, that's not to say that there isn't a need for the women as well but it's really strong for, 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 for the men. And you see that at the end, so that your prayers would not be hindered. I mean, that, that really speaks, it, it, do, it doesn't say that, it doesn't say that after the women, it says that after the men, because they're, they're there to be the leaders, the spiritual leaders and the physical leaders of the home. And that's really an indictment. If we don't have a prayer life, if we're not praying, if, you're, if, you're, if, if there's sin in your house, it's your fault. You know, so, um, yeah. Can I just say something too, Ray? Um, you did an excellent job yeah, here. I, I, yeah, no, you did an excellent job. I know it probably took, took let's, let's look at your um, uh, questions. Yeah, so you're asking really good questions. Um, so then, uh, So then, yeah, so then clarif clarif clarification against law, man, and God, Ephesians 5, 21, 22, in Christ, in the Lord, right? So, so your the question the questions that you've asked are really good, but I do think there should be a time where you answer them in your sermon because those are questions everyone's asking. Okay, so think about how you can answer those questions in your sermon. Um, and then here, I, I think these are great observations that you should bring out. Well, well. Uh, let's just <laughs> change that one. This one is uh, um, um, more time, but harder for husband to fulfill. There's more responsibility for the husband, even though there's more explanation for the wife. There's there's more responsibility for the husband. Okay. But, but here's yeah, the thing, right? Heavier. Yeah. The more you can improve, the more you can use this on everything you do in everything you do. I think, um, you know, I'm really trying, I really want to see everyone. And I'm really glad when you said, can we meet? And you sent me the thing. I was so happy because I mean, this is, this is the, the path to really becoming just saturated with the word and, and, you'll have so much information, so much content. If you really dig deep and do these type of methods, everything just makes sense over time. So it, it does take practice and I'm sure you spent a lot of time already, but I mean, this is the way, this is the way to, to having a good biblical uh, gospel centered uh, God honoring sermon that is very sensitive to the text, applicational and, and, and theological. So um, I I want to I want to thank you. You're doing a great job, and um, I was very impressed. And this is my goal is for everyone to be implementing this type of analysis. Um, yeah. So. Yeah. So from from from, from this text, Tim, what would be an appropriate title for this? Something like the way I see it when I read through the text. It's in relation to its pre, uh, 
previous um, verses also it's it's like um, using your marriage as a testimony something like that on this on this account right uh, being yeah you could have right? something I mean, like the whole, yeah. the whole thing was really about the testimony outside people outside that people will get to see um, what it is to be uh, a, 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 a slave to a master and things like that. And in this particular scenario, it's about the married life that would be an example for people to see what it is to live uh, in harmony with with your husband and husband and wife relationship. So I don't know how, how to go about the title. Yeah. So, so so what you so what you so what you could have here because you have you have let me just come back here so I, I, I'm I'm very sim simple simple in my sermon titles so here's the thing what what I do think you need to have is this let me just let me just people do not typically have this but you should have a you should have it you should have this okay you should have a you should have a title. You should have a proposition, and then you should have an outline. Okay, a title is not a proposition, um, and then the outline supports the proposition, supports or explains, all right? So a title is catchy and memorable. A proposition is a specific call to action. And then the outline supports that call to action. And you could always have, you could also always have a, a, a key question to ask. Okay. And I think I shared this when I did the outline for the, for, um, for the Lord's prayer. L let me come back here. So just shoot, I'm, I'm shooting from the hip right now. I'm shooting from the hip and I'm looking at what you have here. So if I if I'm looking here, what's this? Okay, let's go back to. All right. So if I'm looking here, Peter one says, "Likewise, wives, subject be subject to your own husband." Okay, and so the likewise comes back to the example, the foundation, which is Christ's example. Okay, of of submission and entrusting himself to the heavenly Father. Okay. All right. And then looking at the husband, the husband is to be, is to be, um, uh, is supposed to be respecting their, their wives and treating, treating their wives with respect and reverence. And he's supposed to be the spiritual leader so that your prayers may not be hindered. Okay. He's supposed to be, uh, the spiritual leader. Okay. So, um, um, what I, what I would say is looking at the foundation, which is Christ. And that's how the, the wife is supposed to be emulating her life, focusing on the internal. Okay. And the same with the husband. What you could say is something like this. A title could be a gospel centered marriage and, and then really integrate the gospel in, in, in the pattern for the wife and then integrate the gospel with, 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 with the, with the husband. Are you, are you living your life in, in view of the gospel? Are you sharing the gospel? Uh, so, so when we talk about the gospel the good news that Christ died for, uh, for our sins. Okay. Um, and so you have forgiveness in the gospel. Are you, are you living your life? What does it mean to live a gospel center life? Christ was gentle and forgiving. Um, forgiving of us are you living that lifestyle with your with with your with your family okay so there's a lot of different trajectories when you think about the gospel forgiveness of sin the the, the righteous suffering for the the unjust the unrighteous there is a lot of, of of parallels there and you could even keep going going back to ephesians 5 because in ephesians 5 it's very clear paul says you are to live, you are to be Christ to your wife, right? Love your wife as Christ loved the church and gave himself for it, okay? So, so 
yeah, as a title, you could have a gospel-centered marriage or, or, lit, or having a marriage that's centered on the gospel and then work, work those details out. And what you could do, Ray, is work through some things, come up with your own title. You can use that title and then let's meet again and let's talk through if you get stuck, if you get stuck somewhere, let, let's talk through it one more time and we can, we can talk through what you have. But I mean, that's just what I would do. You don't have to do that. You can, you, there's different ways, but that's, that's what I would do because I do, I do find that the only way this is, you're going to be successful is if the gospel is, center, is central in your marriage. That's the only way you're going to have a successful marriage. Tim, how, how about the, the, the relevance or the importance of the, the, the way this command was given to Christian wife or Christian husband in reference to what they are going through at that time when Peter made this um, letter to Christian to Christians, right? They were yeah. they were at undergoing persecution at yes. that time, right? Yep. Yep, that's so how would that yep. be in any way important to this lesson also? Yeah, so um I just don't forget the context of the message. Yeah, so I think that when you mean that yeah, so what so you, you can see you can see the persecution for sure in the servant sorry in, with 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 the servant right in the servants you can see the persecution they're probably experiencing persecution especially if their lords know their masters know that they're a christian okay you could possibly see the persecution in the wives situation here okay um um, and the wife would have different rights in this. That's why I'm saying we, it can't be like a one-to-one -one correlation because there was different laws back then. There was different different rights. Okay, but you could see that. But what I would say is that I would say is that when you're in the midst of persecution, everything is heightened. Everything is heightened. Um, so you're you're more on edge. You're more stressed. There's more suffering, and so it's harder for you to to to, to be gracious to others when you're under experiencing incredible stress so um you know that's probably what's going on so how how you would implement that suffering if if i was preaching this and without studying really without without studying this this text i would say that talking about if they're in the context of suffering all of these things are heightened, okay? And so you could say that everything is heightened, everything is at a greater level, and yet that doesn't excuse bad behavior. So during that time of stress, during that time of persecution, it's all the more necessary for us to go slow, for us to be careful, to walk wisely on how we conduct our lives, to treat others in our family in a loving way. For me, when I'm in a high stress situation, sometimes I, I'm not as gentle with my family as I should be. Okay, so, so you know, and you could bring a, a parallel analogy into here. The, 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 a very small but not analogous would be the COVID crisis, and that during this time, no doubt, we've lost our temper over difficult things that have been occurring. And during this time, it's we need to be all the more vigilant to be in prayer, to be in the Word, to be caring for those around us, to be focusing on those things that are important. So, I mean, that's how I would approach it just kind of shooting from the hip. I, again, I, I want to make sure that people aren't hearing, you know, you have an abusive husband, stay with the husband. Okay. Now, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because, and, you know, and, the and, way that most women here in the Philippines would really go for that kind of uh, masochist understanding, even though they're yeah. being abused or something. Yeah. They stick to it because that's what they, they were yeah. taught. Yeah. My mother was like that. Yeah, I would really emphasize that there was different laws. Women had different, right, different rights in the first century, okay? So, so maybe there was an abusive situation and, and Peter, was, Peter was calling them and maybe, maybe there was an abusive situation in which legally they had to stay with their husbands, okay? We don't, we don't know all those details. There, none of those laws are provided for us, okay? But we know for a fact that we're never called to disobey the law of, 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 of humanity or whatever government. And we're never to disobey the law of God. The law of God does not tolerate abuse. The law, the Philippine law and the U.S. law 
does not tolerate abuse. Okay, so, so even if, let's say, it would be more challenging to deal with this maybe in like a tribal setting where polygamy is accepted and wife beating is accepted, fine. That would be a whole different, you have a whole different issues you'd have to wrestle with, but you don't have that here. You don't have that in the US. And so, so the laws are very protective of women, of children in both. So there should be, so that question should be off the table because in the law of God, we, and this is not, this is not commanding you to submit in a situation where the people are breaking man's law or God's law. Okay. So I would, I would go, I would some, some place in your sermon really spell that out and say, listen, this is not negotiable here. You know, um, you should not be masochistic. Okay. If you're experiencing abuse, if your children are experiencing abuse, and, and you can define abuse. You can say, you know, there's different views on, there, there is a fine line between discipline and, and actual abuse. You know, m- maybe you want to talk about some examples, some examples to, to, to clarify what you mean by that. Most of the time, though, abuse is, is not <laughs> questioned. It's clearly abuse, right? So, <laughs> you know, um, emotional abuse, verbal abuse. Yeah. And you could offer, also offer this, like if you're unsure if you're in an abusive situation, that's when you should come talk to a pastor. So let me t- take the opportunity. If you're experienced, if you're unsure, you want to be faithful to this text, but you're unsure, you know, we have pastors at TBC, come talk to a, pa- a pastor and we can, we can help you identify if you're in an abusive situation or not, you know? So and I'm not saying just to say that like that, but I'm just giving an example. I, I do think, Ray, that you should have specific examples. Don't, we, especially since this, the video is going to be, tele, is going to be um, uh, face, Facebook, it's just not in live, it's Facebook. I would have specific examples thought out ahead of time. I would not shoot from the hip. I would be careful in what you say um, because you don't want to be condoning abuse. And at the same time, you don't want to be saying all, all, everything's abuse. Okay. That's not the case. So you want to have some thought out ideas. And then you can say, if you're unsure, I would recommend you going to your local pastor. I'd rec- if you're a member of TBC, I would recommend coming and talking to someone on the pastoral staff. Um, and, uh, you know, if there's a concern about a legitimate concern about abuse, you should report it to the authorities. I would say that any type of, of, of child abuse or abuse of you, you should you should report it to, to, to the police. You do want to be very clear on that because um, especially child abuse. Matthew 18 is so clear on child abuse. Anyone who calls a child to sin, it would, it would be better for a, mill, a millstone to be tied around his neck and him thrown in the sea. Um, woe, woe unto him, you know, temptations will come in this world, but woe unto him through whom the temptation is coming. So now as we're in a, in a context in the Philippines and the U.S. where Child abuse, spousal abuse is not, we should not be tolerating it. Yeah. Thank you, team. No problem. No problem.